Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Monday, March 31st, 2014. Well, a couple things uh, that you might want to take note of for today. One is the Chicago PMI and the other is the Dallas Fed Manufacturing Survey. Both have to do with uh, production and they may be market affecting ones uh, after both of them actually are after the market opens and Auntie Ellen is speaking at 9.55 this morning okay um, let's take a look at what's going on across the ponds over in Asia it was mostly bullish um, just Shanghai was a little bit bearish not much though and in Europe we are green across the board for the start of the day over there take a peek here we're looking at a positive opening strongly positive I guess you might say gold is down to 1293 under our um, magical I guess you might say 1300 mark and oil is at 101.55 not much of a surprise there. All right, if you saw uh, the video that I put out yesterday about the uh, year-to-date results so far for the CSS V2, things are not looking real good. And the reason why, well, there's a couple reasons. One is um, I started drifting away from following my own rules. And number two is the market has become, in effect, kind of trendless. Let's take a look at the two big ones here. I'm going to take Rut out of here. All right, uh, Spy. We'll take a look at the S&P 500 here. Um, we're pretty much not in a very strong trend right now. So when we started CSS V2, we had a nice trend, a good, solid, identifiable trend doing all my back testing and everything else things look pretty good um, we had a questionable period here back in August and September of last year but prior to you know we have had some really nice strong trends and that's what a directional strategy is dependent upon these little short-term corrections I guess you might call them are just exactly that little short-term corrections so that certainly doesn't help what we're looking at right here is really a consolidation I guess you might say if we're going to put a name to it sort of like what we had back here um, and not much of a trend now it's sort of drifting lower and we actually got a red indicator here which is a little weird but it's pretty much flat I would say and there's not a lot of momentum here and this is kind of a thing that you you want to keep an eye on this MACD to see um, how it's doing as far as its historical range is concerned and it's pretty it's been pretty dang flat at least on the spiders so that's something to keep in mind and I think uh, if we took a look at the cues it actually might look a slightly worse yeah the cues have not had a good time lately <clears throat> and let's take a look at IWM I don't even want to look at DIE just because there's only 30 stocks in there I look at IWM and, and we're kind of in a slide right now as well let me make sure that we're up to date here. I have to move this another day over here too. Uh, did did it move? Oops. Yes, it did move. Okay, so it looks like uh, from an IWM perspective, we are headed into the basement at least based on the current data that we have. If we were to uh, project into the future 
nowhere near where I had this calendar at 105, but you know, if I was to do another calendar on this, I would pick one at 112 for the end of this month. That's what I would do. So, um, it's hard to find a direction right now. Some of these stocks are moving nicely, and that's why we're going to take a look at our A plus list. And we are going to be more discerning and picky, I guess you might say. And we'll start out with Apple. Oh, geez, talk about flat. I mean, at least there was some movement here. Here we have no momentum. And we have a start of another downtrend. And we have earnings coming up. And as we get closer to earnings, we're going to talk about more about some potential earnings plays. And so far, I think the most promising one is calendars. But you need to wait until we get closer to earnings. So let's wait till then. Let's take a set up our target. We're in a downtrend, a brand new downtrend. We would be looking for a new full cycle. We sort of had one here, sort of. <laughs> It's not in the rules, but a new trend. We like to see a good, strong one cycle. So this is one down, and then we have one up that's a full cycle. So we'd be setting a target up here for a hook in that area sometime in the future. And it looks like we're probably going to get a hook up today with uh, an open here. Yeah, around what's our last price was 539.86. Amazon. All right, we're looking. We have a target set up here. This uh, this particular trade right here did not work out. That was an overnight trade. Um, none of the overnights worked out last week. <laughs> I spent uh, about 15 minutes at 3.30 on Friday getting out of these things. Crying my eyeballs out. All right. Oh, let's go back here. Forgot. All right. We're waiting for a setup here. So this is a nice, strong trend. We have good momentum to the downside. We like that. We like momentum. Okay. Uh, Boeing. We're drifting down, but we have no setup here, no possibility for anything in the near future at all. A possible 20 delta trade, but I'm not even going to talk about those for today. I don't see anything there even for that. I do like to see a little bit of a, if we're going to go down, I'd like to see some sort of a you know, a flag pattern here. It's not really, this does not look very good, even for a 20 delta. I'll be willing to bet there's probably no money in this thing anyway. And we have earnings coming up here. A little bit later in the month, that should be interesting. Baidu, uh, this one also did not work out. We have it, we have a target set up here. And we'll just wait for that one to mature. Celgene. All right. Here we need to fix this one up if we're going to leave it here. Move this down to a 15-day. So this is 5, 10, 15. So we'd want to go to there. And that's the way that Celgene is looking right now. And nothing for a CSS V2 trade, maybe some sort of calendar. It's a pretty strong trend, but there is nothing, there's no setup here. We would be looking for one up here. All right, Chipotle. Okay, we got a hook here. We have an alert on Chipotle. 
a little concerned about this move here. We actually got a red peg here on the exponential. But I'm going, it's alertable anyway, so there's going to be an alert put in here above the open. Not above the high, but above the open. And or above, we're in business. So if this alert triggers, say like right away in the morning or a little bit later, you definitely don't want to do anything before 10 o'clock. You want to make sure that um, the uh, direction is correct for today. And a lot of times they pull back around lunchtime. So you might want to think of entering then. And then we have earnings coming up. And this would be a fun one to do earnings with, I believe. I believe Chipotle is going to do very good in their earnings. Yes, I do believe that. Okay. Um, Costco. I'm going to do a, a video on calendars for earnings. All right. So uh, Costco, we didn't, I mean, uh, yeah, we didn't quite get our trigger here. So we're going to be looking for another one. And that's a shame, because that would have been a good play. Yes, it would have been. It's too bad. This would have been a 20 delta with a move like this. So we have that. And we're going to actually just kind of go like that. Just say, come up here and touch me. All right, uh, CVX. Nice move here on CVX. Doesn't help my calendar very much, but I've already done a roll on this calendar. Uh, it cost me 89 cents, but I've actually uh, recovered 52 cents of that, if I remember right. So um, we're not worried about losing too much on that one. If it doesn't cooperate with us and come down to this spot here, um, we almost had, well, we were having a trend reversal here, so we have to wait a little while on this. Let's uh, call it down here. We'll activate this and bring it down. Oops. Dang it, there goes the furnace. I was hoping I'd be able to beat it. It's a little chilly this morning, so I apologize for that roaring that's going to happen in the background here and hopefully I'm able to talk over it which I think I am all right um, there's probably nothing going on here yeah this is flat as a pancake a very watery pancake Igor Looking pretty good. We have the stock split probably at the close tonight. So nothing there. FedEx. Um, we had a calendar here. We were looking for our something there. I was thinking about something there. And I didn't do it, fortunately, because that would have been, I would not have wanted the stock to go below 132. And it looks like as though it was able to keep its nose above the water, just barely, just barely. Okay, so I'm going to take this line off of here. I still have this calendar uh, that I entered way back here and there is nothing going on from a CSS V2 but we are going to throw a target in up here and see if we can come up and touch that gold um, looks like we're in might be entering a new downtrend 
probably, we'll just throw something up here to pull our eye over. It's not a commitment. I just want to be able to say that this is what we were thinking about. Google. All right, Google, we have a calendar. We want to come down here into the screen area. This overnighter did not work out. And Google is in a definite downtrend, so we're throwing a target in up here. Pretty strong. I mean, we're all we're down to 20 here. So we are in and 17.7 so we're interested in what might happen here from a bear call perspective looks like it's going to open up a little bit this morning IWM we did look at that but we'll check it again we're in a downtrend and I have something here LinkedIn Uh, LinkedIn did work out. I got out of it here, and I think, well, yeah, I was able to get out for. Um, it only cost me about four cents, I think, to get out of this thing. Yes, on Friday. So we did okay on that. So I'm going to delete all drawings here and start fresh. Okay, now we have a new downtrend and we have a setup on our downtrend. So we're going to maybe jump in on LinkedIn again. We'll see how it works out for us. Let's throw this up here. Okay, and MasterCard. We have a target set here. We have a dividend coming up. So we'll see how MasterCard works out. Just be patient. 3M. Uh, trying to figure out which way 3M is going here. We have conflicting information here on our moving averages, which makes me nervous. So nothing on 3M. Netflix. Let's change this. We want to do 15 days. Oh, Netflix is on a tear, isn't it? Looking for something there. We may never make it. Yep. The escalator up and the elevator down. Price line. Same situation, very similar. Very, very similar. I mean, it's pretty obvious. You don't really need this line in here. So we're we're looking for a pop up there on the stochastic queues. There's not a lot of money in the queues, but they are very liquid, which is a good thing. So we're going to be looking for a target up here. I want to tell you that I had a really hard time um, getting out of, I think it was Tesla. On Friday. I'm just going to get rid of this. Okay, we're in an uptrend, but we don't have, we have a violation here, so we're going to just stay away from that for right now. Tesla. Yeah, I did have a hard time getting out of Tesla. I want to delete all. Um, still in an uptrend. We'll see what happens there. I 
Is this a bounce? It's definitely not an entry. It's not a setup. Oops. And last and certainly not least is Visa. I'll take this off of here too. We have a new downtrend on Visa, so we have a target up here. So we're seeing a lot of bear calls in the near future if things work out. Not a lot for today. We have alert on Chipotle and a setup on LinkedIn. So thank you very much for watching today. Have a great day and happy trading.